Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to use the Cascade Hexagon Mold from Molds and Shapes and it's the L-size um, tray mold. So I want to play a little bit with effects again like I did in the last one when I used the, in my last video when I used this mold. And I did a monochrome one, but this time I want to go with um, turquoise and um, white. So my first color here is the Inuki. I mixed it into the ultra cast resin. The ultra cast resin is a medium viscosity resin. And then I'm using here the swimming pool. It's a resin ink from Octopus. And I'm pouring this on top of my Inuki mix. So this time I'm just pouring in puddles using different um, pigments, different yeah, shades of the alcohol or resin ink because the swimming pool is a resin ink. And many people ask about the resin inks. They are alcohol inks, but they are highly pigmented and especially designed for working with resin. So that's the difference. They are stronger than the normal alcohol inks. So now I added my clear resin on top of the swimming pool and my clear resin is also pigmented with a little bit of the swimming pool resin ink. And now I'm starting, well, I use a chameleon pigment. It's a gold from Let's Resin. And I'm hoping that I get a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a sparkle from the chameleon pigment. So I'm putting this on top of my clear and then I'm pouring my white. And the white here is not the Inuki, it's the pigment drops from Etta Art because I want to achieve a little bit of a different effect. At the edges I want to have a little bit of the crushed ice effect and in the center a little bit of the um, daisy belly effect from resin courses so that's why i'm using different pigments or different whites and now i'm just filling up my mold with the clear so you see it's a rather easy pour you just pour in puddles and i used a little bit too less um, resin here I should have used 500 grams, but I mixed round about 450 grams and you see it was not really enough. So I need to help the resin later on at the edges where it's not um, hitting the edges a little bit with the dotting tool so that my mold is filled to every step of the cascade um, shape. So. Yeah, I should have mixed a little bit more. But now first I'm pouring my center and I'm using just glass stones and stones, which I had to hand. I just mix what I think it's matching. So these are not really um, branded um, stones. They are from some I got for a present, others I bought in a dollar shop, something like this. So just use what you have to hand and it will give you a nice effect. So I'm doing this now. Then I'm just using the torch very carefully. So I pop some bubbles which are on the surface and then you will later see me um, using the dotting tool and pushing the resin a little bit um, to the edges so that my mold is really um, filled at every step of the cascade mold.
As you can imagine, I was a little bit annoyed with myself that I didn't mix up enough resin, but you see, that's how I get it sorted. And the resin is, with this little help, also pushing by itself a little bit to, to the edges. So it's filling up, but it's not like, I like my, my pores to be a little bit doming, so I don't need to do anything. But here you see the time lapse and how the resin is moving, how it's creating different effects. And it's looking already very um, interesting on the pouring side. So I'm quite confident that I can achieve nice effects, but you're only now after the molding. So I'm always excited seeing what's going to happen the next day. And there we are the next day. It's 24 hours later. I can demold. You see this little lip from not having enough resin so you can trim it with um, this tool i don't know really how you call this tool in german it's an encrater but i didn't do it because i plan to put some cork underneath so i have cork and then it doesn't doesn't matter so much but anyway let's have a look here I had a little bit struggles with the demolding. I don't know why. Not with the mold, but with myself and how how to hold everything. And I don't know. Sometimes you have days like this, but yeah, I'm also a little bit off center with with holding it. But I'm very happy with the result. And look at all the effects. Yeah, here I'm almost um, yeah, dropping my tray, but but. Well, anyway, I really love the effects and see also how shiny the tray is because molds and shapes, they have really wonderful molds. But now there is the final result. What I did, I also painted the edges every step with anthracite, with a dark gray um, marker, and I really love it. The dark you see at the outside is the chameleon pigment. And... If you see it in real, you see the little shiny of the chameleon pigment. So with this effect, with this tray, I love and leave you. I wonder what you are thinking of it. I really love the depths of it. And yes, hopefully we see each other for my next video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.